Hello everyone, I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the Defy lock-on grips from Torque One Racing. All right, so today we're taking a closer look at the Defy lock-on grips coming from Torque One Racing. Now you guys know that here at Rocky Mountain, we have a massive selection of grips that you can choose from, but if you ask me, in my opinion, if you haven't tried a set of lock-on grips yet, well, I think you're missing out. And what makes these so popular and the reason that I myself like them so much is how easily you can install them and also take them off your bike. And we'll talk more about that here in just a minute. But with these grips from Torque One, okay, you can see it's a half waffle design. Now, if you're not familiar with really grip designs and exactly what that waffle is intended for, so the waffles are raised just a little bit off the base of the grip. It just gives a little bit more vibration damping. Also, a little bit of added grip for the rider's hand. Very popular or grip design. In fact, you're probably going to see the majority of motocross and pro supercross racers using that half waffle design. And the compound is a very soft, tacky material. So it feels really good in the hand, nice and grippy. And I've actually been using the Torque ones on my bike for a while now. And I think the durability with these is awesome. So they did a good job with the compound. Now, a couple more things I want to highlight real quick is you can see with the waffle pattern here that it's actually tapered. So it tapers down as you get towards the inside of the grip. And that's just to give a little bit of relief for the rider's thumb. And also one thing I really like, and this kind of goes for all lock-on grips, is the ends of these are nice and hard. So it's a hard plastic end. Obviously you have the grip, the soft rubber over top. But what's nice about that hard end is if you do have a crash or tip over, much less likely to rip or tear that. So it just adds to the durability of the grip. But also keep in mind that if you do use full wraparound hand guards, it is pretty easy to knock the ends of these out. And as you can see on the table, you got a lot of cool colorways to choose from. But the big feature that we got to highlight with these, as I talked about earlier, is that lock-on technology and how easily you can install these and also take them off. I know a lot of riders out there, when they install their grips, they'll use a grip glue, they'll also use safety wire, but sometimes that can be a bit of a hassle. You put their grip on, you got to wait for that glip, grip glue to dry, then you got to do your safety wire. Sometimes they break loose and start to spin. And also, in a lot of situations, you're taking them off, you got to cut the grip, which ruins it, and then you got to get all that grip glue off your handlebar. So if you're like me and you don't like to do that a whole lot, well, these are going to be your solution. So the way they install, super easy. So let's start with the non-throttle side first. So you can see on the end, you're going to have this CNC machine aluminum collar. So all you're going to do is just slide it onto the end of your handlebar, and then you're going to rotate the grip to the setting or to where you like it. And then you're going to see you have this T20 Torx bolt that's on there. So you're going to take your T20 Torx, and you're just going to tighten that down, get it nice and snug. And once you've done that, it is locked onto the handlebar. They don't rotate. They don't slip. I've been using these, like I said, for years. I've never had a set slip on me or rotate. So as long as you tighten that bolt down enough, you're going to be good to go. Now with the throttle side, what's cool is that your throttle tube is actually integrated into the grip. So it's going to meet your OEM specs for your throttle tube. And it's also, you're going to see, comes with six different cams to make sure you get the right cam for your bike. So make sure when you are installing these, look at the instructions because they will tell you what cam number you should be using depending on the bike that you have. But once you install it, what I really like about these lock-on grips and what I think kind of separates them from other lock-on grips that are out there, if you actually look at the cam where you slide it onto the throttle itself, you have 22 points of adjustment. So for me personally, I'm pretty picky about my throttle or my grip placement. I like to have that waffle right where it feels comfortable for me. So I just like how many adjustment points that I have to make sure I can rotate that grip and get it exactly where I want it. So I think it's really cool that Torque One uses that design. And there you go. Those are the Defy lock-on grips coming from Torque One Racing. Again, very easy to install. Literally just takes a couple of seconds to put them on or take them off. I like the hard ends. They're gonna be really durable if you have a crash or tip over. And if you're looking for a cool colorway, well, they've got a lot to choose from. If you guys have any questions about these grips, comment below, or maybe for using a set of these, or if you have lock-on grips, comment below, give us your thoughts, and let us know what you like so much about those. And to pick yours up, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. And don't forget, guys, the order's over $75 ship free. If you like this product spotlight video and you wanna see more like it, other top five videos, buyer's guides, how-to videos, well, make sure to click and subscribe. I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.